Welcome back to Full On Football, where of course we've got our uh, two UK guests that are over playing uh, in the leagues, and that of course is Andy Thorpe from Western Strikers and Neil Young, uh, coach player from Cumberland. Now, you, Neil, I hope you noticed that I've got black and red on for you tonight. Yeah, I yeah, like that. I yeah. have. Yeah. This is and just I'll, for you to yeah. make you feel you know, like you're at home. Well, they, they actually, they, um, they've had a lot of financial trouble, Bournemouth, over the years. I mean, I can remember back in, um, when I was playing back in 97, we actually had uh, Man City, Hull City, Wigan, Stoke, all teams, uh, Birmingham, Reading, all teams that have played in the last couple of years in, in, the, in the Premier League mm. in England, you know. Mm. Um, it's just a shame that you know over the last couple of years they've they've gone into receivership. Last year was uh, deducted ten points, uh, got relegated from the um, Division One. Oh, they um, did, did they? Yeah, and okay. then and then this season it's been an uphill battle because we was uh, we start. I'll say we. You know, <laughs> you still do. There, you well, know? You do. We got the uh, we got um, deducted uh, seventeen points. We started minus seventeen points at the start of the season, mm. um, and it was an uphill task from there. But um, the manager there, Eddie Howe, done. Excellent, and uh, Saturday I just beat Grimsby last Saturday, and they managed to stay up. So with one game to go. Uh, Anderson come. Daz, oh, yeah, Daz was okay. um, Daz was down there. He played uh, last two or three seasons down there. Um, different class. What yeah, a player! Yeah. You can you can see just in training uh, ability, the way he, he strikes the ball, his movement. You know. Is he was um, I mean he was a legend at Tottenham, you know, and he, he's always he, injured. Well, was he there when you? They, were they there? say that they he's say he was all, they say he was always <laughs> injury prone, but. Uh, you know, he still went on to play, you know, just yeah. over, over about 400 games, you know, so, and he, he played, I think he played well over 30 games for England, so, yeah, he played, you know, he played, he played a lot of games. I think it'd be interesting when we see Robbie Fowler here playing for yeah. the A-League and also like we did with Dwight York. I mean, Dwight yeah. York was, 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 like you said, a class above everyone else, you know, the yeah. way he touched the ball, the way he was able to control it and, and the way he was able to influence himself on the game. I think we'll find the same with Robbie Fowler, so it'll be interesting to see how that works and... I think it'll only help our league. I mean, our league is, we all think it's a great league, but we, we're miles behind when it comes to, you know, a lot of overseas leagues. And like Andy was saying, probably our league is is equal to maybe two or three leagues down under the Premier League yeah. over there, so. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, the more publicity you get now, you know, what with the, the, yeah, the national team doing so well, you know, it's only going to improve soccer, yeah. really, I, I think. Anyway, I mean, yeah. I, I speak to people who have been here, obviously for years and years, and they say five years ago, you'd never seen so many kids running around kicking yeah, the ball. Yeah. You know, it was all AFL. Mm. I'm allowed to say that on the show. Yeah, yeah of course so. you can. <laughs> We'd love so, you to say that on yeah, the show. So, so, you know, so, but, I mean, sooner or later, they've got to realise, you know, that, that soccer's big, mm. you know, if not, you know, as big as AFL, but, you know, on, on par and, and getting there. Well, you know what? That's the whole idea of us doing this show is to promote the local yeah. leagues, you know? Yeah. I mean, the, the big leagues get promoted out there, but it's the local grassroots. I mean, these players come from somewhere. They don't yeah. just appear out of the woodwork. Yeah. And this is what our whole job is here, is to, to promote the local leagues. Speaking of local leagues, let's have a look at the Super yeah. League. And let's have a look at the results from uh, Anzac Day. Big day, uh, it was shocking weather-wise. So let's have a look at those results uh, over the weekend. Of course, we had we did have two games postponed. That was the Campbelltown City game and the Metro Stars down at uh, um, Newton Village Sports Complex. And also the Adelaide Hills and Adelaide Blue Eagles match was postponed. But what we did see in uh, the game that we were at uh, filming was the Raiders uh, v Mobbury Jets. Raiders coming out way on top, five goals to nil, with Mimi Saric scoring a hat-trick, returning to the team, and uh, Reese Townsend and also Richie Alligic, quality player. Unbelievable the way he plays in that team. So uh, well done there to Raiders. Uh, I'll just just take a step back from that one. Adelaide City won Para Hills Knights one. That was played on the Monday night. A, a good result for Para Hills there, but Adelaide City, I guess, uh, Damian Murray would be a little bit disappointed there. Uh, Chad Bajaya and uh, Stephen Stam scoring the goals there. And the Western Strikers match uh, up against Adelaide Galaxy. Um, very, very tight match. And uh, uh, Osama yeah. Malik scoring in the 88th minute, you were telling me, uh, yeah. Andy. Yeah, well, it seems the same story for us. Just 1-0 one nil, one nil losses would... So did he sneak past you, did he? No, it wasn't past me, okay. but I won't say who it was. It was it probably was a penalty, but just eighty eighth minute, uh, go back a couple of weeks, Blue Eagles, ninety third minute. We're just not really getting a look at the moment. Um I think we've deserved a couple of draws. Definitely we didn't deserve to lose against Galaxy. Didn't deserve to lose lose against Blue Eagles. Um fair play to Blue Eagles though, you know, they're Six, six from six, is it now? Yeah. So, you know, they're not, I don't think they're playing particularly well. They didn't play mm. well against us. No. Didn't think Galaxy played particularly well, but it was very difficult. The conditions were 
as you, as you knew, they same as Raiders. They were yeah. wind blustering around. It was really difficult, but we just got to keep going. I mean, we've, the problem is what Charlie's been saying is consistency. You know, we mm -hmm. played brilliant against Campbelltown first game of the yeah. season. We had a shocker against Raiders. Third game, uh, Modbury played really well. Probably should have won by more than more than two goals to one. And then we just didn't perform against. Uh, it was the fourth game. Um, it was Hills. A, no, we played well against Hills. So okay. we're just we just up and down, and we just need to get we need to get two results or just get some points on the board because mm. we we started well, but just in a bit of a rut at the moment. And I'm sure we can get out. We've definitely got the quality. We've got some brilliant players. We've definitely got the squad. Um, just need to get some points on the board and maybe have a little bit of luck at the same time because yeah. we've lose it. We've lost four games one nil. So and shows. of course now the bad luck was the injury to, to Michael Russo. Yeah, definitely. I just want to say you know, best wishes to Michael. Um, since I've been here, just meeting him, he's, he's a great lad, great player. Um, obviously definitely be sorely missed. We've got players who can replace him, but brilliant player. Um, so yeah, just want to wish him all the best. And also, while we're on that note, just wish his, uh, his mum Rose all the best. Uh, I know she's had an operation, so mm. and I know people around the club. Are, uh, I think in the Euros, so just all the best on that as well. Yeah, definitely. And we'll look, you know, we will be looking at the ladder in shortly. But you know, you're sitting in six spots. So yeah. for a, a newly promoted side, I know you weren't there last yeah. year, but for a newly promoted side, Neil, I mean, you would be looking at that, saying, "Well, when did, we're sitting not bad at the moment." Yeah, I I see um, Western Strikers play in the cup game in the last season. Yeah, um, they impressed me then. They impressed me. You know, obviously, you know. They was going to go up, but I mean, oh, so that would have been against Metro Stars at Campbelltown. Yeah. That, that was a great game because yeah. we filmed that one. Yeah, heard about that actually. Um, yeah, you know they've got a good manager there as well. Mm -hmm. You know he's got a good set of lads. And, and when they started the season, I mean, great start against uh, yeah, definitely. You know when they played Campbelltown up there, mm -hmm. you know because Campbelltown well one of the top teams last year. So they certainly were. To yeah, get up to a fly like that, yeah. you know. No, it was yeah. great. Oh, and as I said, I've got that that game on on film, and that was a, a very really? very entertaining yeah. match. So um, they did do well. Look, speaking of uh, footage, um, obviously we went out to the uh, Croatian Sports Centre in, in the wind and rain and hail and <laughs> I mean the game ended up finishing up in darkness, it was crazy. So um, we're, we're going to go to that footage now and just have a bit of a chat to, about this match and yep. look, uh, really it was Raiders the whole match. Um, of, at the beginning of the game obviously we had uh, a minute silence for Anzac Day which was a, a nice gesture so uh, and I'm pretty sure did you, did you, yeah, you, same you thing, guys yeah. did the same sort Definitely, of thing yeah. so you know obviously uh, playing on, on Anzac Day was a, a, I guess an, an honour in itself so um, I remember last year going out to see Croydon playing Campbelltown down at Croydon and that was, that was a magnificent match as well so we were obviously going to be in for a good match. Um, look I thought Mobbery really play they, they they really took it to Raiders for about the first 10 15 minutes it looked like it was going to be a fairly even match but basically what started to happen was uh, Raiders started to open them up they had these two young guys Raiders had two young guys either either wing and that was um, uh, Craig uh, um, oh Craig oh, I cannot think of his name now isn't that <laughs> terrible uh, I will think of it in a minute um, uh, Craig was on the left and um, uh, Brennan was on, on the right and uh, look, they, they did really well these youngsters. Then you've got in the middle, you've got Mimi Saric, you've got uh, uh, Richie Alligic in the middle, I mean quality yeah. players, experienced players and they basically destroyed them. And then with Reese Townsend running in and out to be able to get onto the top of these balls, it was uh, absolutely brilliant. And um, unbelievable some of, the, some, of the, some of the actual shots that they had. Just pumping the goals all the time, um, and I beg your pardon. It was great, Craig Goodwin, and I no. do I do apologise, Craig, because my mind's just gone blank. Um, first half, Mobbery had quite a few shots, um, and as I said, just opening up. Now you've played them, you know what they're like. Yeah. So they're a tough team. I mean, they, they, they run all day. I think their only negative thing you can say about them is that they're a very young side, so they may not have the experience there. Um, but yeah, they'll, they'll work hard. They'll run all day. They didn't play too badly against us. Like I say, I think we should have won by a few more goals, but they'll keep going. But as I mean, the scoreline shows five nil. Mm. That's right. Well, I mean, you gotta you gotta think back that probably uh, seven or eight of their squad left. So yeah. it's a it's basically a brand new squad.